I'm thinking about folks in Florida and Cuba and Puerto Rico and Iran and Ethiopia and every place where safety is at risk or doesn't exist. And we gather here tonight knowing how fortunate we are. And for me, I think about what we do here in this town. We are storytellers. The, story tell the stories that we tell matter. They can help or they can harm. They can shape the way we see ourselves and the way that we're seen. So Malala and Elizabeth and Jacqueline and Chelsea and the woman who I call Madam President. I don't know about y'all, y'all acting like she's... <laughs> acting like she's a regular lady, it's a president. Our transformative leaders who are magnificent reminders of our power as women. We don't have power, we are power. We make the impossible happen often. Power is not a door we need to knock on or a table where we have to try to gain a seat. Power is the house that we build for ourselves. It's not a mountain. We are the mountain. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just all right here. And with Queen Sugar, our mountain was a mission to take care of both what was in the story and also the way we told the story and who got to tell the story. And so to that end, with the support of Warner Brothers and OWN and Array, we were blessed to have 42 women who directed 88 episodes of television through this series, okay? 39 of the 42 had never directed an episode of television before they accepted the invitation. Sometimes people hear that and they think, oh, you just got randoms off the street? No. They were directors, they made independent films, they directed Broadway, they were cinematographers, they were professors of film, and they wanted to direct or they had directed an independent film, and yet they still couldn't get an episode of television. And these women have gone on since their first episodes of Queen Sugar to direct the following. It's a list, y'all. Ready? <laughs> I don't hear if people are ready. Yeah. Let me know if you've watched any of these, Bridgerton, Lovecraft Country, The Umbrella Academy. These are film shows that these women went on to direct. Cherish the Day, Bel Air, 13 Reasons Why, Billions, Blackish, Grey's Anatomy, One Perfect Shot, The Handmaid's Tale, Naomi, Ozark, Yellowstone, 1883, Pea Valley, Riverdale, Gilded Age, How to Get Away with Murder, The Walking Dead, Insecure, A League of Their Own, You, The Cleaning Lady, A Black Lady Sketch Show, Queen Sugar Directors, Luke Cage, Wonder Years, All Rise, Animal Kingdom, Westworld, and one of them even went on to be the first woman to direct a unit of a little film franchise called Star Wars, okay? We're brushing off our shoulders. We're feeling good. We're feeling good about it. So I wanna thank Variety for taking their accomplishments seriously, for understanding the import of our show and of our mission for tracking and reporting on the way that the show shifted representation of women helmers. Angelique Jackson, sister, who works at Variety, her editors, Romina and Cynthia, took the time to speak with every woman director of Queen Sugar for the special issue. Angelique created a profile of each and every one. She wanted to do this, a stunning acknowledgement that I can't thank her and Variety enough for. Many of these talented directors are here tonight and you should meet them. So sisters, when I say your name, let the people see you. Dry your eyes and come on and stand up for Cheryl Miller, our current season seven showrunner, Shaz Bennett. Come on, Shaz Bennett. Come on, Shaz Bennett. Former showrunner, Kat Candler, directed seasons one, two, three, and four. She's directed the most episodes of Queen Sugar. Stacy Muhammad directed seasons four and seven. Patricia Cardoso, the legend. If you've ever seen Real Women Have Curves, that woman couldn't get an episode of television. Patricia Cardoso, the legend. Here she is, Aurora Guerrero, seasons two and seven. Victoria Mahoney, she's the Star Wars one. Season one, come on up. See Vitz, see Vitz, season four. Coming from the back, Lauren Wolkstein directed seasons three and five. Lisa France. Seasons five and six. They say there's no women directors. Oh my God, where did they come from? Numa Perrier, season four. Rachel Ramis, season three. Stephanie Turner, season six. Chico Mwale, season four. Where is she, Chico? Come on up. Y'all gotta make room for your sisters. And Marie Jamara, season six. Here we go. And Carmen Maraud, here she goes. Here you are, my friend. And the two crew members
first two weeks flown in who didn't know they were going to be called to stage, but are so important and so loved. They made the show what it was. Cheryl Miller and Desiree Stevenson White, who, who is our first AD. We salute them. These women work on Queen Sugar every day for a seven season, so we salute them here. Thank you for this. Thank you so much. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. This is for you, this is for you. And now, none of us would be here without the vision. You all are probably, you can have a seat, but thank you. Because you're probably gonna wanna stand again for this one. We wouldn't be here without the vision and verve, the woman who is a mountain unto herself. This all women directorial team seems like a no brainer now, like people are doing it. But when we began, it took moxie and magic and she's the queen of both. No one else could have done it like she let us do it, 88 episodes, 42 women calling action every day. <laughs>